I'ma keep it G like a band Looking for the money, not a friend Sleeping on me like a zen This is my blessing, my plan I wanna thank all my fans So y'all are forever the man Fall off like most of these rap What's going on, BME squad, man? I'm back with another video today Today video is gonna be a short story time About how I almost died in um, winter The winter that just passed Now, for y'all that no, like, if you driving on the highway, you know how you get on the highway, right? Like, like sometimes, yeah, you know how you get on the ramp to the highway and stuff. Like, it's a big little, like, circle almost, like, getting on to the highway. Now, it was winter time. I was working at Walmart at the time in Ohio. Um, I was on my way home for lunch break because I used to work overnight, 10 to 7, and... On my way home, I didn't really think the roads was that bad because I was driving okay, Um, like, before I got to the highway. And it was snowing or whatever. And it wasn't really snowing that hard, but it, you could tell that it snowed. It, it was where, it, like, it snowed, but it had already stopped by the time you see it type of thing. Now, I'm driving on the highway and stuff. Um, I mean, driving on the regular street and stuff. Ain't nothing going on. I wasn't sliding or swerving or nothing. Now, this is where everything get tricky. One, I'm hopping on the highway on the ramp, like the little circle part of the highway to get on. Now, as I'm going up, I'm going fine. See, at the beginning, I was doing just fine. Like, it wasn't no signs of, oh, snap, about to slide off or something crazy. Now, as soon as I get to the top, to get on the highway, as soon as I get to that turn, that little curve you got to go around, as soon as you get on, I ended up, the car didn't even turn for one. I ended up just completely sliding straight. Now, you know how the highway sometimes got these metal poles going around those um, ramps, like on the curve part, like when you like slightly turning and stuff. It was a little metal bar right there. So, uh, this is the car. It's going straight. And then all of a sudden, it just slides right clean off. I didn't even get to turn on to the highway. Like, it was just all crazy at the same time. So, the way it happened so fast, it was like, wow. So, I sm slid off. I almost smacked the metal pole. The metal pole, okay, look. Metal pole, okay, look. I'm going to use my fingers, my two fingers. This the car. This the metal pole. Now, my car is going like this and missed and i ended up sliding into a big ditch you know how the highway always got a big big ditch too on the side like on the left hand side now that's what happened i slid all the way off and i almost hit the metal pole now i'm going down the ditch i'm trying to i ain't even gonna lie i did a dummy try to get back on but only made it worse i ain't going nowhere my car from one it went up a hill because it was a big ditch and then it was a hill part. So the only way you could get out the ditch is going up the hill on each side because so, everything at the bottom is just going to make you go to a ditch. So I try to go up the hill. The, the um, hill is all icy and stuff and everything. I end up sliding backwards and the car starts going backwards real fast. And I try to press on the brakes to try to slow it down or just at least stop. I went all the way down, and excuse me. You now you know how too. There's a drain, like you know them ditches that got drainage. Like like if it's rain, heavy water or something coming down the hill or something, but it goes to the side into the ditch. But it's a drainage for water. Now it's like that in that ditch, but it wasn't really a drainage. It's just a ditch, and then it's just got these little uh, spaces like gaps in it in the ground or whatever. My car ended up going over that and reversed and turned my whole car around. I almost, as I was coming down the hill, though, almost thought the car was going to flip because it was the way it was going backwards so fast. And then I just really thought, I was like, dang, this car about to flip. So at this time, I'm thinking like, oh, snap. But I ain't panicked to the point where I'm like, oh, snap, I've got to get out. I got to get out of the car. No, I didn't try to jump out of none of that. So... Luckily, the car decreased and went over that little gap and then got stuck. 
So at this point, I can't move the car at all, not even go forward or backwards. I tried multiple times to go backwards and forward, but it didn't work. And the only thing I could do was just sit there and call for help. So the crazy thing is I ended up having to call. I think I called 911. Yeah, I called 911 because at the time, I didn't know any car places out there at this time. I didn't even have no type of... Um, See, the thing is, I didn't even think to use... Well, I did use my maps, but it was only bringing up places that was closed. So I called 911, and they called for somebody to come out to my location. It took about a good hour, close to two hours, just before somebody finally came. And my lunch break was around, I believe, 2 o'clock. I think either 2 o'clock. Yeah, 2 o'clock, because... Uh, after four hours, you finally get your lunch break. So, yeah, so all of this happened around two something. Then it took them about, like I said, an hour or close to two to get there. So by 3.30, by the time they got there, they, they uh, was telling what happened and stuff to the police officer. So he let me sit in the back of his car, warm up until the tow man came. The tow man finally showed up. He, he uh, winch. What did, what did they call it? It's a winch or something to pull your car. It's like basically to pull your car, but not tow it like anywhere. It's just to pull your car out of a, a type of situation where you can't get the car out at all type of thing. So he did that, basically used the thing that you they would use to tow your car. And where it got me out of the um, ditch or whatever, back on the street. Now, I went back to work that night, but um, let me go back, though, before I get to that part. Now... I um filled out paperwork and stuff. I almost at the time didn't have really money to really pay them, so I got lucky and called my cousin and they was able to pay for me over the phone or whatever. And no matter of fact No, no, this one Oh yeah, matter of fact, yeah, my cousins did pay for it. Um Cause they didn't process my um card or whatever the next day because I told them they could go ahead and try to do it off my card because I know I didn't have enough money, but I was going to let my card overdrive and I was just going to say forget it because I was getting paid anyway like the um, like a couple days later. And it's crazy because all of that happened right before I was getting paid. So my money was tight at the time as soon as that happened. And luckily, he said he'll go ahead and try to use my card anyway because I told him I, I think my bank will let me overdrive. But it didn't overdrive because he called me the next day and said, oh, yeah, your card didn't even, um, it didn't even um, process it. So they were like, is there any other way you can pay for it? So I had to tell him, yeah, hold on, I'm going to call my cousin. So my cousin came through Clutch and loaned me the money and stuff and went ahead and paid them because either way, if I wasn't going to be able to pay on that night or tell them to go ahead and try to um, process that um, payment on my card, they was going to tow it. And then I would have to let it sit at the towing place. And I definitely wasn't going to have the money in time because, I, like I said, it was a couple days before I got paid. And every day that your car sits on the tow lot, it, it, it increases by a lot. Yeah, like a real lot. And that was going to be majority of my whole... <laughs> That was going to be my whole check, actually, and then more. So I definitely wasn't going to have enough for that. But I, w they was, uh, I was lucky that they went ahead and just processed the order on the card and then called back and said they couldn't get it. So my cousins was able to do it for me and pay for it for me. So I went ahead and paid them back, though. But I went back to work that night. It was crazy. I, for, I was traumatized a little bit because I was like, dang, I ain't never really just slide off the highway ramp like that. But luckily, by the time I got off and finished my shift, I had to tell my boss, manager, or whatever what happened, why I came back so late. Because, I, like I said, I came back, like, two hours late, close to three, because it was already coming up five o'clock. So I said, forget it. I'll just go back and finish this little day off. And I told her what happened. Everything was good after that. And um, as soon as I got off, I checked the highway. I don't even think I got back on the highway that day, to be honest. I think I ended up going a whole different way to get home. But that was the scariest thing ever. That's the first time I ever been in that type of situation where I could have flipped the car or got seriously hurt driving. Like I said, um, it was just crazy. But I was luckily able to come 
out of that situation uninjured and the car was just fine too as well and i still drive the same car y'all been seeing in the past videos uh and it was that car actually so yeah everything came out just fine didn't have no scratches and it did leave a, actually it did leave a little crack in the front of my car but you can't even see it because it's all the way at the bottom and you have to really be looking at my car hard to even see the crack in it but other than that yeah that's my little story tom um if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe if you're brand new and i will see you guys later on with another video peace back when i was broke they was cool with it now every move i make i'm in the news with it even if I ain't do it, they be like, you did it.